<coughs> Alright, we're going to do a video on syncing audio from an external recorder, like my Zoom H1, uh, to the iPad. Um, we'll go over here. As you can see, I have my Zoom H1, but I don't have it hooked up in the normal configuration. I mean, I don't have it hooked up to an external mic, I just, I'm using it just as a handheld. So there'll probably be some audio noise. Um, I haven't checked again on it, so it's set it. But we're going to sync it up to the video on the iPad. Okay, so we got the video and the audio recorded. Now what I did is I transferred the uh, SD card from the Zoom over to my little sand disk, little uh, USB SD card, Wi-Fi hotspot, little thingamajiggity. These are pretty cheap. They work awesome. You just push the button, press once they're charged, and you get yourself a little uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. So now I can transfer the audio files from, from this to the iPad simple as uh, going into my SanDisk app, clicking on the SanDisk. Ah, uh, you know what? Before I do that, i got to connect to the SanDisk Wi-Fi. Hmm. So Android does that. Oh, I'm already connected. There we go. Never mind. Android does it automatically. This iPad never does. Alright, so I want to go into my SanDisk. Into the flash drive. You go into stereo, folder, and it's going to be number six here, the last one I did. It'll preview it. Okay, it'll, it'll stream it. <laughs> so you just pause that. Then, then what you can do is uh, download it. I don't, I don't know what that does here. Let's see what that one does. Oh, well, you can open an iMovie. All right, so we're going to create a new movie because I already have the footage on, on the iPad. So we'll create a new movie. Now we're going to want to add the video. Now, I think I've done this before, and it doesn't work. So I don't think you get the... Uh, I don't think you get the waveform or whatever when you do it that way. But we'll see. Let's increase the volume on that. Yeah, see, we're not producing any waveforms. Go back out of there. If you see the freeloading, it'll take care of it. Edit it. Well, you can see here, on the actual video, you have the waveforms. There, but on our audio, we're not seeing any waveforms. So, I'm going to take this and uh, delete it. I'm going to go out of here, back into here, take that one. And I'll download it. It's 11.48 megabytes. Close that. Go back. 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 When it downloads... I'll share it with my movie 1. Still no bucket waveforms. I know this works. We'll pop this into the foreground. Try that. Well, you can hear the cost, but you're not seeing the waveforms. This son of a bitch has done this before. And you know what? I haven't had to do it in a long time until I start making this freaking video. Now it's going to do it. So let's see. Let's close out of there. Go out of there. Let's uh, go back to the start screen. Might just take a minute to, to register. 
Alright, there we go. No? Yep, yeah, alright, we got we got waveforms. Alright, up and down. So, if you got that problem, then uh, that's what you gotta do. So this is a zoom here. Alright, now, I like to stretch to make sure that's the timeline's extended as far as it can go. And then increase the volume on both of them. So you can see exactly what is what. Okay, so we're gonna do a video. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do a video let's see. Alright. So now I'm not, I'm not sure which one coughed first. Let me mute this one. Alright, that's that. We'll mute that. Okay, so we're gonna do a video. Alright, so here's the cough on this one. Right there. So what we wanna do... Stretch stuff in the frame here. What are you doing? Uh, just a minute, and then shrink that up to there. Then you can take this one and just set it right on top. Harper Jean, back off, please. I'm trying to get this done here. And release. So I obviously my granddaughter interrupted me there, so. We want to figure out where. All right, we're gonna do a video. On All right, we're gonna do a video on sinking. All right, so something's not right there. Let's see here. Unless this one. Let me play again. All right, we're gonna do. All right, so there was another cough there. So we gotta get this. This one here, we gotta move over to here. And now we should be about right. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do a video on syncing audio from an external recorder. So, like as you can hear, H1. the audios are uh, to the iPad. Pretty much synced there. To the iPad. So we go back to the beginning. Audio from an external recorder, like my Zoom H1, uh, to the iPad. Now we'll watch, watch how the video goes here. Let's see. We'll go over here. Let's see if it's synced in. As you can see, I have my Zoom H1, but I don't have it hooked up in the normal configuration. I mean, I don't have it hooked up to an external mic. I'm, just, I'm using it just as a handheld. So there'll probably be some audio noise. Um, I haven't God, checked the game. Sucks. But we're going to sync it up to the video on the iPad. And uh, we'll have it. It'll be fun. So, fasten your seatbelts. Alright, so that looks pretty good. So basically what you want to do is just make sure your timeline is extended all the way. Maximize your volume. Alright, so that you can see the waveforms. And then you just hold on to your audio, drag it, and lay it right over the top. And, uh, and you're done. Bam. You just gotta make sure you have a reference point. That's all. You gotta, you gotta have a spike that you can, you can really reference with. Because you go through here and you look at the difference on the waveforms. And, you know, unless you have something really, you know, abrupt. Like a cough or a clap or something. You know, it's gonna be hard. Unless you get one of them, uh, one of them clappers they use. You know, the movie clapper thingies. But it's not that hard. And all you do is you can just take that, mute that audio. Take this audio. Send it back down 100%. And yeah, 98, whatever. Alright, we're gonna do a video on syncing. And then you play it. From an external recorder, like my H1. And when you save it, everything's saved. Then you can just upload it to YouTube like that, or, or whatever you're gonna do. You upload it to YouTube, then you go to YouTube Studio, put in all your uh, keywords and stuff, because uh, when you just upload straight to YouTube, it, it doesn't work. So. But. So Alright, well, hopefully that uh, wasn't too confusing because it confused the shit out of me while I was doing it, so. That'd be it. Alright, see ya.